Occupy protesters, labor groups, and unemployed people from across the U.S. are taking their message to politicians on Capitol Hill throughout the week. FSRN's Matt Laszlo caught up with the demonstrators as they held sit-ins in Republican offices today. Hundreds of people descended upon Capitol Hill to ask Republicans to stop blocking legislation intended to help out the nation's neediest citizens, like extending unemployment benefits and the president's jobs bill. Ashley Howard is an unemployed mother of two. She says it's been a sad holiday season, knowing she's without a job as she tries to care for her two young boys. It's very emotional, and I just don't know what the next step may be. I apply for jobs, and I continue to apply for jobs, and I have a wonderful resume, and still I can't find employment. So it's, it's very hard, and I want to make sure that everyone who's out here that's trying, you know, it still can live. Howard sat in Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's personal office for a good part of today with more than 20 others. As for whether the senator spent any time with Howard? No, not at all. And it's sad that they avoid us while we're in their office. You know, they send other people. The protesters fanned out across the Capitol complex, some going to the House side and others storming particular offices. A large contingent traveled from Boston in order to send a message to Republican Senator Scott Brown. Cardina Hills with the Massachusetts Labor Group, Mass United. She says she's particularly upset that Brown opposed a bill that could have put thousands of teachers, emergency responders, and construction workers back to work. You know, Scott did not support the job creation bill that Obama was supporting, and we really feel like we desperately need that. Hill says Senator Brown needs to listen to the people from the Occupy movement or he'll lose his seat next year. We feel like he is not representing uh, most of the people in Massachusetts, the working people of Massachusetts, and that's what we are here to say. We want him to support the working people of Massachusetts by showing them that he cares about having jobs, he cares about people's benefits right here at Christmas time, talking about cutting off unemployment insurance benefits. And uh, the other thing, we feel like the budget deficit, they could easily tax some of these corporations and the wealthy rather than cut social service programs. Protesters also were scheduled to visit some Tea Party-backed freshman senators like Florida Republican Marco Rubio. The senator says he isn't upset that the protesters are taking to Capitol Hill this week. That's their right. I mean, I'm glad to see people are involved in politics and are speaking out on what they believe in. Rubio says he understands why there is so much angst in voters across the U.S., but he disagrees with where they lay the blame. People are frustrated. The economy's not doing well, and everything's gotten worse since uh, Barack Obama became president, so I would be frustrated too. But Cardina Hill of Massachusetts says it's Republicans who are to blame for focusing on blocking legislation instead of addressing the nation's most pressing problem. The job situation is in crisis situation. It's impacting everything. It's impacting people's ability to support their families, keep their homes. Uh, afford health insurance. And so we feel like the jobs issue is critical for the quality of life for a lot of people. The protesters say they aren't giving up yet. Linda Evans of Washington, D.C. is currently unemployed, and she says she's optimistic their time at the Capitol will make a difference. If a thousand people or two thousand people were in your face daily, would you listen? Would you? Yes, I think they're going to have to listen. So it sounds like you and your friends aren't planning on letting up. No, we're not. We're fighting for the unemployed and the underemployed. If I don't get anything out of it, my grandchildren will. On Wednesday, the protesters are scheduled to storm Washington's K Street, which is the notorious home of multi-million dollar lobby shops. And then on Thursday, it's back to the Capitol to give lawmakers another earful. Matt Laszlo, FSRN, Washington.